doing a magic kit review over the great magic book and kit. I know that y'all uh, left some comments saying that y'all like when I do magic kit reviews and I have a bunch. So, uh, cause I collect them like I said. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all one of my favorite sideshow tricks that I picked up a while back ago. It's the uh, mystery of the balancing nail puzzle. Anyways, back in the day in the circuses, they used to uh, scam people, like me and you or whoever that they could, with seven nails and they would bet them to balance the remaining six nails on top of one nail head. Okay? So in order to show y'all this, it's pretty much going to reveal it too, but it's not really so much as a trick as just like I said, it's just a sideshow, so it's not really that big of a deal. So anyways, they would take the nail just like this and they would place it in the middle of the wood and they would ask, tell the people to balance these nails on top of the nail head, okay? So in order to do that, you would have to take the nails like this right here and place them in this order. And people would try and try and try and fail every time. So, a lot of people lost a lot of money back in them days, put it that way. So essentially you're going to end up with something like this, okay? And then you would pick up the nails, just like this, okay? And then you would balance them. And that's how they would scan you. So that's the actual trick with all the nails balanced on top of one nail. If y'all can see that, look at that. And like I said, they would scam people all the time. People would try to figure out how to do this, how to balance all these nails. I remember whenever I first uh, was doing this, I, I gave up. I had to end up looking at the instructions because like, I, just, I was just fooling around with it. And I tried and tried and I just couldn't do it. I was sitting there just like stacking them and like, doing all kinds of nonsense and it was just really funny but anyways this right here is a really cool trick that I found uh, while I was out one day with my girlfriend I hope y'all kind of enjoy this it's the nil the nil balancing puzzle illusion it's really cool hope y'all liked it and on with the magic kit review Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Great Magic Book and Kit. So I picked this up at Hastings as a collector's item about oh, a couple months back ago. And uh, it only cost me like 10 bucks. So I know Hastings is going out of business, but I'm sure you can find this online pretty easy. I mean, you can find almost anything on Amazon. So that being said, on with the review. So inside, it doesn't have a lot, but like I said, it's only 10 bucks. So I mean, you can't really beat it, but it does have a see-through silk. I find this to a very advantage because uh, you can do like coin tricks, like some melting, like the coin melting through the silk or whatever, and then the spectators can see the coin at all times. So I find that very cool. And some other advanced tricks that you can do that it's more powerful because they can see the coin through here. So that's a pretty cool little scarf. Um, it also comes with a coin practicing coin magic. It's got a little bunny rabbit on it. Bunny rabbit on it. So I think that's kind of neat. It's very light, easy to practice your slides if you want. So I mean, it's not nothing too bad. I mean, you can just just like that. So yeah, you practice your slides. Um, inside, it's got a book. It's got a booklet in it, and uh, as you, most magic sets do. And uh, it's got a lot of pretty interesting stuff in here. It's got the uh, Royal Sisters. It teaches a whole bunch of different uh, vanishing pin tricks and everything like that, and some uh, mind reading tricks. So it's definitely got a lot of good little tricks for 10 bucks. Uh, it comes with magician gloves. Haven't seen this in too many magic kits at all, actually. It comes with white, mime looking magician gloves. So these are actually not that bad if it's your thing. They're actually really soft. So I find that kind of really cool that they, they actually came with gloves. So that's kind of neat. Um, and also, the last thing, it comes with cards. Now these cards are actually really pretty awesome. They're kind of cheap, but they fan really good. So they, uh, they handle like really really good I mean you won't have any issues out of these cards I mean like I said they do pretty nice things these right here are a little bit worn out because I liked them so much that I actually played with them 
a lot, to be honest with you. I practiced a lot with these because they handled so well. They made really great fans. Now I done got them all oily and greasy and stuff, so besides the point. These cards actually remind me of um, these aces. Now these aces are really good cards. If you ever get a chance, pick these up. Not the little cheap plastic ones. But these right here, the Ace Authentics, these are really, really good cards. And I mean, like, whenever these things were new, they fanned and did all kinds of nice stuff. Like, great. These cards handle so well when it comes to fanning, flourishes, anything of that nature. But like I said, I've done wore these things out, so they're kind of clumpy now. Anyways, I hope y'all like this review. It's not that much of a big, big magic kit, but it's still pretty cool and something to add to your collection if you're interested. Anyways, see you later.